What if you could step inside a video? Not just watch it, but move around freely, choosing any angle, any perspective in real time. For years, this has been the holy grail for technologies like VR and augmented reality. The problem has always been the insane amount of data and cameras you'd need to capture something like that. You'd need a massive, expensive camera rig with dozens of cameras all recording at once. But what if I told you that a new AI tool can now achieve this, creating a flawless, interactive 4D experience of a person in motion using video from just four cameras? Today, we're taking a deep dive into a brand new AI tool called Diffhuman 4D. And trust me, you're going to want to see this. Essentially, it takes a few sparse video feeds and generates a complete high-fidelity volumetric video, allowing for a free viewpoint experience that is frankly mind-blowing. The developers have put it head-to-head -head with all the other top models out there, and the results speak for themselves. Looking at the benchmarks in their paper, Diffhuman 4D consistently outperforms existing methods. We're talking about comparisons to tools like Cat4D, GPS Gaussian, and the well-known Long Volcap. On the Actors HQ dataset, using only four input views, Diffhuman 4D scores an incredible 27.8 on the PSNR quality metric, while the next best competitor, Cat4D, is stuck at 21.5. That is a huge difference in visual quality. The only thing that even comes close is a version of Long Ball Cap that uses a whopping 48 different camera views. Think about that for a second. The logistical challenge of setting up 48 synchronized cameras is immense, yet Diffhuman 4D is achieving comparable, if not better quality with a simple four camera setup. This is a game changer. But enough with the numbers. Let's get to the visual proof because their project page has some of the most impressive interactive demos I've ever seen. Let's start with this one. On the right, we have a woman dancing generated by Diffhuman 4D. I can drag my mouse around and view her from literally any angle, seamlessly. The flow of her dress, the movement of her hair, the consistency of the lighting, it's all perfect. There are no weird glitches or artifacts. Now, if we look at the competitor on the left, Long Volcab using the exact same four input views, the difference is staggering. It's a distorted mess, plagued with pixelation and parts of her body seem to phase in and out of existence. It completely breaks the illusion. Diffhuman 4D, on the other hand, is flawless. Let's check out another example. This one features a similar dance performance, but with much faster, more energetic movement, which is typically a huge challenge for these models. Again, we can view this from any perspective in a full 4D space, top, bottom, a full 360 degree rotation. What's absolutely wild is if you look from a low angle, you can see how the model intelligently guesses what the unseen parts of the body look like, even underneath the clothing. It's a remarkably accurate estimation. And this got me thinking, if this technology were applied to, say, corn videos, it could create some incredibly interesting and interactive entertainment experiences. The potential for truly personal and interactive entertainment is massive here. This technology is still evolving, but this model has so few quality issues that it's already sparking ideas for next-gen media. Okay, here's a third example that really showcases the model's robustness. On the right is Diffhuman 4D, on the left is the competitor. Look at the competitor's result. The resolution is terrible. The details are smeared. It's almost unwatchable. Now look at Diffhuman 4D, crystal clear. The motion is smooth, the clothes wrinkle realistically, and the overall image this sharp. I can spin this around from the back to the front, and I honestly can't spot a single flaw. The model's ability to fill in the enormous gaps between just four viewpoints is just top tier. I can easily imagine this being integrated into fitness apps or sports broadcasting in the future. Now, let's look at one more of these interactive demos, because this one is a fantastic stress test for any AI model. Here we have a woman dancing in incredibly vibrant, colorful clothing, and she's wearing a hat that has a tassel or some kind of ornament dangling from it. This is a very complex scene to render. You have intricate patterns on the clothes and a small secondary object, the tassel, that's moving independently. On the Diffhuman 4D side, on the right, the result is pristine. The model perfectly captures the texture of the clothing and the physics of the dangling tassel as she moves. You can spin it around, look at it from any angle, and it remains perfectly coherent. Now, if we look at the competitor on the left, Long Volcap, using the exact same four input views, the difference is staggering. It's a blurry smear. The colorful patterns on her clothes are distorted into an unrecognizable mess, and the whole image is riddled with artifacts. The quality difference is truly night and day. 
These interactive demos are impressive on a 2D monitor, but you have to imagine the true potential here. This is the kind of content that's tailor-made for virtual reality headsets. Imagine putting on an Apple Vision Pro or a Meta Quest and not just watching a performance, but being able to physically walk around the person, lean in, and see the details from any perspective you choose. That's the kind of deeply immersive experience this technology unlocks. And I think it's especially compelling for things like virtual concerts, fashion shows, and yes, even adult entertainment. The project page also features a bunch of pre-rendered comparison videos. While these aren't interactive, they really drive home just how well this model stacks up against the huge array of competitors. Let's look at this one, featuring a person in a green dress dancing. You can see all the results side by side. The other models that also use four views all have those noticeable distortions and consistency issues we've been seeing. But look at Diffhuman 4D's result and then compare it to the output from the 48 view long vol cap model. It's almost impossible to tell the difference. The quality is truly top tier. It's achieving with just four cameras what used to require a massive 48 camera setup. And it's the exact same story with this next comparison, which shows a female ballet dancer in a brown dress. Once again, you can see that the results from the other sparse view models are frankly unusable for any serious purpose, but the output from Diffhuman 4D is excellent, standing shoulder to shoulder with the 48 view version in terms of quality and detail. It's just incredibly consistent. Now for the big question. How does it actually work? This isn't just magic, it's the result of a very clever and deeply technical process. Previous methods struggled because when you try to generate new views independently, you get nasty inconsistencies. Diffhuman 4D solves this with a novel two-stage pipeline. First, it uses a powerful spatio-temporal diffusion model to generate a dense and consistent set of multi-view videos from the sparse inputs. The absolute key to its success is a technique they call sliding iterative denoising. Imagine you're trying to build a huge detailed picture. Instead of trying to paint the whole thing at once, you work on a small section at a time, constantly looking at the surrounding parts to make sure it all blends together. That's what this sliding window does, but in 4D. It slides not just across space, meaning from one camera view to the next, but also across time, from one frame to the next. This forces every newly generated pixel to be consistent with what's happening around it, both spatially and temporally, eliminating those jarring artifacts we see in other models. But that's not all. To further boost the accuracy, the model doesn't just look at the input images. It first uses an off-the-shelf pose estimator to extract a 3D human skeleton sequence from the videos. This skeleton acts as a strong structural prior like a scaffolding that guides the diffusion model. It helps the model understand the underlying human motion, ensuring the final generation is anatomically correct and moves realistically, even with complex clothing or fast actions. It's this combination of a smart denoising strategy and human-specific guidance that makes the first stage so effective. Once the AI has generated all of these new high-quality video views, it moves to stage two, reconstruction. All of those videos are fed into a system to build a final interactive 4D representation using a technology called 4D Gaussian splatting. This technique represents the entire scene, not with traditional polygons, but with millions of tiny colored semi-transparent particles called Gaussians. The result is a model that can be rendered in real time with incredible detail, which is what allows us to interact with these demos so smoothly. And now for the best news for all the developers and AI tinkers in my audience, the team has released everything. The code is on GitHub under a permissive Apache 2.0 license. The repository includes a full guide on how to install it and download the pre-trained models from Hugging Face. They've even released the scripts they used for processing the dataset. Of course, you'll need some serious hardware to run this yourself. The paper notes that their model was fine-tuned from Stable Diffusion 2.1 over 200,000 iterations using 32 NVIDIA H1 GPUs. To generate a short 48-frame sequence, it takes about two minutes on a single NVIDIA A100 GPU. The final reconstruction step to create that interactive 4D Gaussian splatting model takes about an hour on a single RTX 4090. So yes, it's computationally hungry, but for a research or commercial project, this is becoming increasingly accessible. I've dropped all the links to the project page and the GitHub repository in the description below, so be sure to check them out. Let me know what you think in the comments. What kind of applications would you love to see this used for? As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.